All right. Give yourselves a hand. Thanks for sharing. Good job. All right. We now have permission to proceed back to Miss Susan. Everyone say, we're listening, Miss Susan. I am so impressed with how hard you're working. I am noticing you today working together as a team. You are doing a great job. But there is one person over here that I just have to recognize because all of you in the back, you can't see her, but she has been nonstop since she walked into the room this morning talking to her team. And I want to recognize Susie Guest. Stand up, Susie. Susie! And I'm going to give Susie an A for effort. Yay. Awesome job, Susie. Thank okay. you so much. Oh, yeah. Let's give her a hand. Thank you for the acknowledgement, Miss Susan. Now, the only problem with that is that in real life, you don't get an A for effort. What do you get an A for? Results. Results are what get us the A. So let's take a look at this for just a moment. And I'm going to focus for just a moment on what we do together as a team. Efforts matter. We learned about that yesterday. And certainly acknowledging each other's efforts on a daily basis is critical to a culture of success. And being focused on what the result or the results are that are the most important is ultimately what matters. Regardless of the efforts we put in, it's the results at the end of the day that get us the grade in life. So let's take a look at some of these as far as a team is considered. This is one of my favorite quotes that if you have kept up with our Mentor of the Month series over the last 25 years, uh, and everyone could subscribe to that on either Google Play or Apple Podcasts, just subscribe to Crown Council Mentor of the Month. And our commitment with that resource over the years has been primarily to bring mentors from outside the industry to share with us things that will help us create a culture of success. One of my favorite mentor of the months is from a mentor by the name of Albert E. N. Gray, who gave a great speech in the 1930s. He's since gone on, and we re-recorded one of the greatest pieces of personal success literature that I have ever read. And one of the quotes from that mentor of the month is that successful people are focused on pleasing results. Not just pleasing activities, but pleasing results. So these are common sense, but let's take a look at what those pleasing results are as a team that we need to be focused on on a daily basis. Not just pleasing efforts, but pleasing results. So here's some examples. Having a schedule that's scheduled to, to goal or even beyond goal on a daily basis. So when we're in the morning meeting, we're looking at a schedule that has taken, yes, the effort and is scheduled to goal. On a daily basis, we produce more than scheduled because we executed on the morning opportunity meeting. We look at opportunities that we will have that will present themselves during the day. We deliver great patient service so that by the time we're done, we produced more than we originally had scheduled. Another result is, and if you attended Tanya Bailey's uh, TOPS Lunch and Learn yesterday, and she'll repeat it again today, the result here, those of you that attended, it's not 100% collections, it's what? 101% collections. That's 
the result, and she shared with everyone yesterday how to get 101% every month. 150 plus five-star reviews, that's a result. So those of you that attended our Dental Digital Marketing Conference uh, this last spring, which we'll do again this year, one of the pieces that we shared is that the magic number is at least 150 five-star Google reviews has an influence on your organic search results. So that's a result that we focus on as a team is to get over 150 five-star Google reviews. And then this one, running on time. P patient service relies on delivering on the promise. So organizing the day and working as a team so that we accommodate our patients and at the same time respect their time. So there's just a few examples of daily results that we can focus on as a team to create a culture of success. So here's your quick exercise as a table team. If you'll pull out your notebook, which I hope you're using this morning, and what I'd like you to brainstorm as a team is I'm going to ask you to come up with the top three results that matter most on a daily basis to your team. So the top three, there's a lot of different results we have to get as a team. But what are the top three results toward which all of our efforts go every day in order to accomplish our goals? So the top how many? Top three results for your team. It'll be different for every team in the room, but top three results. Not efforts, but at the end of the day, what do you want to have accomplished in these areas? Your top three results. Get it? You have two minutes. Top three results, go. All right. One of my favorite things we do in the annual event is we're going to do some sharing here real quick. How many of you would say as a team that you killed it on this exercise? You nailed it. I need some five-year-olds in the room. Okay. We're going to Germantown, Tennessee. All right, so who would like to be the spokesperson for Dr. Chris Cooley's team? Everybody's pointing the food. Steph, will you do it? Okay, everybody say, wait, your name is? Cheryl's? Okay, wait a minute, okay. Everybody say, hello, Cheryl's. Okay, you gotta tell us why the name. You can't tell it? No, not good? Okay. Got it, okay, so. Uh, top three results for your team. Here we go. Everybody listen carefully. Number one, great or exceptional uh, customer service. Number two, schedule to goal. And number three, run on time. Run on time. So for you, uh, you, you all have been doing this for a while, right, Chris? You didn't just get out of dental school. <laughs> How do you run on time? What's your strategy? <laughs> Follow him around until we in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Dr. Cooley. Keep him on track. All right, let's give him a hand. Very good. All right, I'm going to Canada. Everybody say, oh, Canada. Did I do that right? Is that pretty clear? Yeah, the hee-haw. There you go. All right, Dr. Dale Schisler, are you going to speak? Would you like to assign somebody on your team? All right, Dale. Happy to do it, right? All right, everybody say hello, killer. <laughs> okay, do tell. <laughs> I grew up in a small uh, town, uh, steel town, and I was always a little kid, slight, so just to uh, put fear in the competition, <laughs> we came up with that name. You, you came up with it. Yeah, yeah, and everybody knew to stay away from me. Really? I, 
would have suspected that when I first met you, because you look like a killer, Dale. I mean, you're like... <laughs> All right. I love the name. You, should we, is that on, like on your office uh, webpage? No, that's, been buried, that's been buried pretty much till today. Till today. <laughs> All right. You finally fessed up. I love it. Okay. Top three results. Uh, number one, um, productive schedule. Uh, we book, um, we call, I'll call it block booking. Um, it's a tops um, idea uh, where we take and give us enough time uh, to do uh, complicated restorative procedures. Uh, and built in there is to do add-ons. Would you like fries with that? Would you like fries with that? Killer fries. <laughs> okay, just out of curiosity, how many blocks schedule in some way, shape, or form? Almost every block schedule where you, you, you pre-block the schedule. So that's something we te we've taught for years. Okay, Dale, number two. Um, we like a drama-free day. Uh, we just, a, just one day is drama free? Just, just one, day, one day a week, drama free? All one the day. days are drama one free. One day drama free. A killer drama free day. Yeah. I, I stay away from drama when, 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 no, if it ever hits my desk, uh, I'm ready to fire somebody. You're ready to kill it. I think this killer name's starting to stick, Dale. We got a new... <laughs> we got a new one here. Uh, I got a real low, to low tolerance for drama. Got it. Okay, no drama. And number three. Um, we work a lot on uh, patient trust and relationships with parents. We, we've got a lot of fun in the office. We're always laughing, and we make a point to include the patient in on the fun stuff. Like? Well, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of joking around, and um, depending on the patient, uh, we might cross the line a little bit, but <laughs> no, but um, I can't get... <laughs> okay, yeah, TMI here, Dale, we don't want to go... <laughs> like they hit you hit each other, okay, we're, we're good, hopefully not too hard. All right, let's give them a hand. Thank you, Dr. Schisler and team. You guys are awesome. Okay, so let's do one more, Miss Susan. I'm over here it. with the beams all the way in Pennsylvania. Nice. I've been featuring Anna on us the whole time. I know you're ready. You're a great student, both Caleb and Megan. So you give us your results. Oh, I love holding this microphone. <laughs> okay, so uh, number one for us was kindness. Um, part of kindness is efficiency, care, being over the top for our patients. Number two um, is to meet goal, produce. And then number three, we have collect, um, collect ahead of time, have kind of like a transparent pricing and, and be open with our patients and answer all our questions with it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Megan. All right, let's give him a hand. Thank you. All right, so two applications here as it has to do with the culture of success. Number one, yes, efforts are important. I would challenge you individually to ask yourself every day as part of your personal culture of success is what is the result the most important result that I am responsible for on our team, what's the most important result? That's a personal question. Now, there might be multiples, but there for every position in the office, there is at least one primary result for which you're responsible. Get it? Okay. Number two, as a team, as you go through your morning opportunity meeting every day, could I remind and recommend that focusing on what is the result that we want today? Keep it simple. Less is more. We talked about this yesterday. Maybe a conversation about two or three key results 
that we want today. And it may change on a daily basis depending on what's scheduled. If you have a schedule that happens to look like Swiss cheese, then the result that you want that day might be to produce more than scheduled. That might be your result for the day. But focus on results. Yes, Susie, you do get an A for effort and results matter. Get it? How many of you will do that? All those in favor say aye. aye. Very good.